Hello, sixth grade. So this week we're gonna continue wording hatchet. So let's take a look at um, the before you read page for the next part here. So this is going to be our last chunk. We still have chapters 13 all the way through the epilogue to read. Um, but if you go to your before you read page on 20 in your packet, um, we can just go through and take a look at this together before you continue on with the next few chapters. So once again, I suggest doing the focus activity that always has to do with what we are going to be reading during this section and um, often uh, plays a part in the questions at the end. So go ahead and take a few minutes to write down um, the journal and answer that focus activity. So this time we're going to be setting a purpose to um, find out what personal assets Brian discovers and how they help him. So um, take a look at that as we are going to continue this next um, section of the book and think about that throughout this last part. So the background information, did you know? The part of a tornado that touches the ground can be a few yards wide or many hundreds of yards wide. The funnel of a tornado may simply bounce on the ground or it may race along the ground for miles. The funnel is made visible by the dust picked up by the whirling winds and by the water droplet at its core. The cause of a tornado is still not fully understood. Meteorologists do know that tornadoes are always connected with strong atmospheric movements such as strong updrafts and major weather fronts. The speed of the whirling winds of a tornado is typically around 300 miles per hour, but the winds of very strong storms have clocked at more than 500 miles per hour. In the United States, most tornadoes occur in the early spring. To the north, in Canada, tornado season is a bit later, falling in early to mid-summer. Light science. Brian makes a great discover discovery while he is trying to catch fish one day. Light refraction. Here is how it works. A substance that allows light to shine through it is called transparent. Air and water are both transparent substances. When light passes through one transparent substance to another, it is refracted or bent. That is, the ray of light actually changes direction. For a simple demonstration, fill a, glass, a, fill a clear glass half full of water, place the handle of a spoon or fork in the glass, view the glass from the side, see how the handle appears to bend at the point at which it enters the water. Refraction occurs because light travels at different speeds in air and in water. In air, light travels at about 186,000 miles per second. In water, light travels at about 139,000 miles per second. When light rays slow down, objects appear to bend. And then our vocabulary preview. Corrosive, having the power to weaken or destroy gradually. Fuselage, the central body portion of an airplane. Propel, to drive or push forward, and sear, to burn. So as we're reading the next few chapters this week, let's also be working on the active reader. Um, <clears throat> this is something you should be doing as you read through these chapters. So we're going to be looking at um, what the old Brian would have done and what the new Brian does. So as Brian learns how to survive in the wilderness, he becomes aware that he is different from the person he was when he began his trip. He notices differences in the way the new Brian thinks and gets things done. Record some of the changes that he notices. So it gives you one um, to begin with. He fears wolves at the beginning, and now the new Brian stands, watches, and nods. So we're seeing him change throughout. So look for those changes that you notice as you go through the next few chapters and see if you can pull out um, at least one or two um, uh, per chapter along the way. Okay, we still have quite a few chapters to go through um, for that part. So go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to be reading chapters um, <clears throat> So we'll read the next few chapters 13 um, 14, 15, 16, and 17 this week. As I said, work on that active reader, looking for the ways that Brian has changed throughout the last um, few chapters as he's continuing to survive in the wilderness. I really hope you're enjoying this book. I love this book. It is um, so interesting and exciting to see how Brian handles everything. Um, I really hope that um, you maybe can even make some connections with him. 
um, and enjoy reading the next part of this book. So let's continue reading and I will see you soon. Take care.